Y'all not hot out here? Now that you're a dog, we're going to send right here. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Well, go ahead. the dogs, what's it been like for you? Man, it's been amazing just being out here and finally being able to know what team I'm on and not having to go to team to team to team and just finally knowing what organization I'm a part of and just being able to be a part of the organization. It's been great. What kind of feedback have you gotten on your draft day press conference and how everything went viral and right. everything all over social media? What's that? Yeah, the love has been crazy. Like immediately when I got off the plane, there were fans in there with helmets and stuff. I don't even know how they got in the airport. Uh, I've been signing a whole bunch of signatures. Everybody been showing love, so it's been Definitely crazy since I did that. Perry, and I know Miles like reposted a clip right. of your draft day press conference right. like right away when you saw that. Just yeah. like what went through your mind and have you talked to Miles? That was mind blowing. Yeah, he texted me right after and just told me congratulations that he was ready to work. And it was just really mind blowing knowing that a 99 overall on Madden just posted me on his Instagram. Like that was cool. That was and dope. You feel like you guys are gonna get along and, and everything. Oh yeah, most match. definitely. I'm hard working. He hard working, and we both got a common goal of winning a championship. So I feel like we're gonna work well together. Have you slowed down at all after that? Uh, you were pacing like lion there. <laughs> I'm definitely a little calmer, more settled. Like I said before, knowing what team I'm on, finally just able to finally settle in and get to show an organization who I am as a person. So I'm definitely settled and calm more than I was that day. <laughs> so Isaiah called you guys the Cleveland Sooners. How right. nice is it to have a couple of teammates here right. in terms of like the transition Man. and everything else? Man, that was dope. I, I give all the praise to the Lord just being able to have Great, cause, cause I could have had. They could have sent me teammates that weren't so good. Like they sent me great teammates, people who are gonna push me to do great things, and people who are gonna hold me accountable all the time. So it's just a blessing to have those people around me and just learn together. Isaiah said you and he had chemistry from the jump. Right. Is that? Do you feel the same way? That's, that's why it's so crazy that we're here together. Like our chemistry is almost um, unmatched. Like we just have a knack for playing with each other. We always know what each other's doing, and it's just easy to us. Our communication and everything is just. Did you play 100%. exclusively at nose tackle for Oklahoma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I played nose tackle most of the time at Oklahoma. Isn't it frustrating? Uh, I wouldn't say frustrating. At times, I was getting a lot of double teams, but I feel like it made me more versatile. Now on this team, now my position coach knows that I can play nose tackle as well as three technique and defensive end if they want me to. Isaiah was saying that he thought you were going to get drafted earlier, and he thought he was going right. to get drafted earlier, too. How much have you guys talked right. about that? I mean, we really, we really haven't talked about getting drafted earlier. We talked about the fact that all those teams pass on us and just remembering that and just keeping that in the back of our heads and just constantly going to work every day to make every team pay for passing on us and just bringing the championship to this organization. What's he going to bring here? Juice, energy, um, compassion. He's one of the one of my one of the best teammates I've ever had before in the locker room. He's gonna one of those guys who's gonna not only hold you accountable, but he's gonna hold himself accountable on and off the field. And his worth ethic is unmatched. Now that you got here, which just what was the f first impression walking in the building right. and getting to meet people, and then you know whatever meetings you've already right. been a part of. Just your overall first impressions coming in here. And how uh, right right away off the plane, I thought it looked better in person than I thought it did on the <laughs> media. So that was one thing, and then. Obviously, coming into the facility, everything was beautiful. And then they're building a region center in there, and then they got the new grass out here. So you can obviously tell that the owner has love for this team and has passion for this team. So I'm grateful to be a part of an organization that's going to put stuff back in for the you, players. You didn't play uh, nose tackle at the senior bowl. So was that the breakthrough for you to show scouts that you could rush the pass? Yeah, I was definitely excited to go to the senior bowl and be allowed to play more so likely my position or the position that I'm mostly known for playing. So going to the Senior Bowl and finally being able to show people what it looks like when I play three technique and how dominant I can be, that was fun. So why did you play no tackle? Right, so in our defense, we played more of like a 3-4. A, a so we were more like a three down D lineman team and we only had two ends and I was a nose. So it really was no point of having, like obviously they knew that I could play three technique, but that wasn't our scheme. So that's just not something we did. In terms of you, you know, coming in with all the fire and the passion and the energy. Right. When the veterans come in and Miles walks in, I mean, will you, uh, you know, just come forth with everything right. that you've got or will you try to make sure that that's I all feel like, cool with Miles? <laughs> I feel like at first I'll be um, more seen than her, just letting my actions doing the talking and obviously following anything that Miles Gary does. He go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. He get a <laughs> drink of water, I'm getting a drink of water. <laughs> No, nah, I'm just playing, but like obviously just like taking in the stuff that he's teaching me because he's obviously doing something great at this level and that's something that I want to do. So just following in his footsteps, I won't more so likely be trying to 
dominate people right away and tell people what to do, I would more so likely be listening and soaking things in like a sponge. Can you, I understand that you, you know, calmed down since we talked to you, but can you play with that energy for, for 17 games like you? I play with that energy my whole life. Like, there's not one game that I go into not juiced up like that. Like, that's just who I am as a person, like, every single day. Like, yesterday I came here off no hours of sleep. I couldn't sleep the night before the plane ride, so I just stayed up all night, packed my clothes, sitting at the table waiting for my mom to wake up. She finally wakes up. We pray. I get on the plane, and I do all the stuff here. We we get home at, like, 8, and I finally go to sleep. So I, yesterday I didn't go to sleep for a whole day, so... I'm just juiced up, like that's just me. So did uh, Isaiah line up to the left of you or to the right of you? Uh, more so, it, it didn't matter. Yeah, he was just. Yeah. Did you feel kind of responsible for the sack numbers he was able to put up? <laughs> no, I would give 100% credit to Isaiah Thomas, like, because I seen the work that he put in and I know what it looked like in the past years of his career and then what he came into. So I know that it was 100% him and what he put forth. You were obviously like super juiced up when you got drafted, but well, then when when you saw Isaiah was coming here too, I guess we didn't have you on camera then. What was oh your man, reaction? y'all wouldn't want to see me on camera. I was losing my mind. Truthfully, it was just crazy knowing that somebody that I have such a great bond with and such great chemistry with is going to be coming here with me and taking on this season with me. So it was just a blessing just to know that what one of my right hand mans will be right by me. Were you surprised to see how the fans have? Definitely. I didn't I didn't know that the fans were this wild or this passionate about the team and just knowing that it, it just makes me want to be juiced up even more knowing that I, if I give that passion and effort to the team it's going to be given right back to me. Before How many you people were... before that day what did you know about this franchise? Right. Obviously I knew a little bit cuz uh Baker Mayfield was on the team, but other than that I never even did like much research about the Cleveland Browns because obviously it was in a um an organization that I was a part of or a fan of. How many people is home? Talk. Right. Yeah, I'm from the west side of Chicago. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Did you go to the uh, OU spring game this year? Yes, sir. Did you see Baker there? Yeah, I, Baker was there. It was his uh, Heisman yeah. Trophy yeah, refill. Yeah. yeah. Did you talk to him at all? Uh, we talked for a little bit, but it was just like a, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nothing crazy. I'm trying to think, was that before the draft or after? Uh, that was before the draft, yes, sir. You had no idea? Yeah, no idea at all, yeah. You mentioned the airport. How many fans were there? It was like a good 10 people. This guy had like, this one guy had like 15 small helmets. I don't even know how he got in the airport. It looked like he was just there for me. Like it didn't look like he was going to, cause after I signed the helmets, he left out the airport. So I'm trying to figure out how they let him in the airport, but it was a fun experience overall. What's the funniest reaction you had to the viral video? Did somebody text you something really funny? Uh, I wouldn't say somebody, it's just a lot of people sending me DMs, just barking videos. Like, they're just sending voice messages, just barking, not saying no words, just barking. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think the biggest adjustment's going to be for you? Right, I feel like the biggest adjustment just be taking more care of my body and just knowing that now I'm going to be playing, like, two collegiate seasons in one. So just mainly focusing on my body and being able to produce day in and day out, knowing that we have more games to play. Did you have a, have you had a sleepless night like you had before you came here? Uh, yeah, the whole, the the whole, Isaiah could tell you this, the whole week of the Singer Bowl, I probably slept like an hour every night, just, I was just excited and ready to go, so. How do you have that kind of energy when you're not getting sleep? <laughs> I'm blessed, I don't I honestly couldn't tell you, no Red Bull, no coffee, nothing, it's just me. Just I, like I, I have no clue what it is. So, you, after your Senior Bowl uh, experience, I mean, you, you should have went up in the draft. You right, down. right. Agent, the team, Scott's, anyone told you what their hang-up was? Uh, not really. I really can't say what the, the things that they probably were were said about me. I just know that I slipped in the draft. And at this point, it is what it is because I'm a part of a great organization and I have great players next to me. And I'm in a defense where I could penetrate and disrupt things. So it was the best thing for me, to be honest with you. Motivation. Exactly big motivation because ever since that day I haven't stopped working out or running or doing yoga or Pilates like I've been going ham ever since my name got called knowing that all these teams passed on me knowing that nine D linemen were picked before me well we'll see at the end of the day what it looks like you are coming in seven tattoo anyway. right um this is 97 actually I wore 97 in high school and my junior college, and I got flames around it, basically symbolizing adversity. And every time I looked down at my hands, basically just letting me know that this was adversity that I got through and I could basically get through anything. So when the equipment manager called me, 
And he was like, uh, we only have no one number available. I was like, what number is it? He said 97. <laughs> I feel like it was destined, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like, you know, you're coming from a very rabid fan base. Do you right. feel like you landed in another rabid, <laughs> no pun intended. Right. <laughs> uh, definitely, because the Sooner fans are crazy. But it's crazy because the Browns fans are crazier than the Sooner fans. And I didn't think it got much crazier than that. <laughs> whole dog thing just right. fits with you, doesn't it? I love it. I love it. I was walking, me and IT were going to get PC yesterday, and this um, couple said, go Browns, and they just started barking. Like, <laughs> you know I barked back. Like, it was, <laughs> it was just a fun experience being down here. Now, to be clear, you've been barking for a while, right? Yeah. I actually lost my voice for a little bit after the, um, the, uh, the draft, but I got it back. But, I mean, even before the Browns picked you. Oh, yeah. I've been barking my whole life. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. you had that, I saw you had, right. like, a dog shirt on yeah. the draft. Just a coincidence. It's crazy. Yeah, it's just coincidental. My mom said the same thing. Hey, how do you feel about coming into um, a really young D-line, right. D-tackle room? Right. Where, I mean, you, you think there's opportunity to be immediate, you know, right. starter? Or uh, I definitely feel like it's a blessing coming into a young D-tackle room, but knowing that there's veterans in the room. So I feel like we all have equal opportunity to come in and try to prove right away who the starter belongs to and who should be the starter. So I definitely feel like it's a blessing knowing that I have a chance to start this year. A lot of destiny involved here. I guess you obviously you believe in it. Definitely. I feel like everything happens for a reason and all of our lives were already written. We just haven't got to that chapter in our lives. You put a lot into, I remember the combine, you were commenting on, they gave you number 23. Right. And, and you yeah, I put a lot of thought into stuff. There's all there's the signs all through in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah. You right. Is it cool to? I mean, Le, LeBron's your favorite guy. Right. And you know, it's, uh, it's, is it cool to be here, knowing the impact he's made here? I was literally telling my mom that like it's crazy that he was drafted to Cleveland. I got drafted to Cleveland, like LeBron's always been my favorite player growing up and then just all the things leading up to it. Like I'm with Clutch Sports Agency obviously and they have LeBron James. So like all these things leading up and then I get drafted to the Browns. That was the icing on the cake. Heard from him yet? I, my mother's name is Chantel. I've talked to him on the phone, but I haven't seen him in person. But obviously, I'm trying to bring a championship to Cleveland just like he did. You have talked to him? Yes, sir. Is it since you've been drafted? No, nah, not since I've been drafted, oh. just like over the times. Yeah. What's the best advice he, he gave you or, or anything like that? Uh, Just don't listen to the outside noise. Just try to be the best version of myself every single day and just trying to be better than I was yesterday and not so far like looking at the destination, but just enjoying the journey and falling in love with the grind and then everything that I want will come into play if I just put my head down and work. So was that conversation like after you signed with Clutch maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that? after okay. I signed, yeah. And your mom C-H-A-N-T-E-L? S-H-A-N-T-E-L, okay. yes sir. You've, you've told us about like all the, how you've been just going, going, going. Right. You, you ever gonna slow down? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I slowed down a little bit. I slowed down actually, I just, I just feel like my emotions were just so high knowing that I'm finally going to be on the NFL team. But I definitely have times where I'm even killed and relaxed. I do yoga, I do Pilates, I do meditation. I, I do a lot of things that keep me even killed. I know how to balance my emotions and use them when I need to.